Gentlemen, welcome back to the Wife Sewing Room. Today, we got some electronics for the back of the class. The metal shop rats, the stoners, the headbangers, and I dare say maybe even one or two of those oddly attractive foreign exchange hippie chicks. Not to worry, a couple beers you get right over that garlic smell. Hey, while we're on the subject, check this out. Ah, <laughs> Nixie clock. Oh, now if only I could figure out how to set it. Apparently it's 1828. Cold War Tech. So cool. Any who's it's. This is not that. What we are going to do today is electronics by Lego. Unfortunately, what you'll see a lot of times in electronics forums and whatnot, it, when you go down that rabbit hole, is guys are, are they're making their own chips for God's sakes. Like, just going bananas, you know, starting with the little tiny jelly beans and making the whole thing, so yada, yada, yada. Here, we're taking a macro and we're just buying the components we need, the boards we need, in order to uh, hack everyday items. Well, this is an everyday item. It's I got it from the dollar store. Three Canadian pesos for this. It's an alt button. And you hit the, hit the bouton. Oh, and it doesn't work. There we go. You hit the bouton, turns on, turns off. So, you know, just a little tchotchke for the desk. But we're actually going to make this cool now first off this is extremely simple and for three bucks you can't go wrong it's got a connect orb and it's got that battery compartment and a, uh, a latching tactile switch when you turn it on there you go <laughs> hey five out of six ain't bad am i right so we got the leds that light up and then this is just a big old plastic case now i bought this and it's been sitting in the junk bin so, uh, however, I came across this on the uh, interwebs. It's a voice module. Oh, and it needs to be powered. But it records and plays back. Hmm? Hmm? Does that give you any ideas? It does me. Oont. First off, we're going to demold these white LEDs and replace them with Eastern European Dance Party LEDs. Now, while we're waiting for the burninator to get real hot, We'll take a look at this thing. Now this is uh, three to five volts. You find this on the usual suspect, AliExpress, uh, Fleabay, you know, Taobao, all those crappy places. No, I don't have a link. I, th it was two bucks. You'll find it. Not to worry, you'll find it. See, there's, there's, there's even numbers on there. See, huh? Huh? So if you hit play and you have power, my mistake, uh, you can play back whatever it records via this little recording device here. That's a microphone and a microcontroller or a little chip and a couple of capacitors on there and some tactile switches. Nice snap action tactile switches. Oh, and the most impotent part, the speak orb. Oh, son of a diddly. Look at that. Done busted the wire off. Of course, uh, they're succumbing to Her Majesty's Imperial Decree that solder should contain no lead. Son of a diddly. Okay, we're going to have to use a vise here. A vise is, a vise is a beautiful thing. Even a crappy vise is better than no vise. There you go. Easy as that. All you need is your soldering iron. Red hot. Whilst we got it in the vise and the camera shot all set up just to perfect. I'm going to show you these. These are fast blinking LEDs. And uh, we want the fast. There's also slow blinking. You can get a, a shit ton of these for like 20 cents, uh, you Continental Metric boys. 2.2 ass loads for 20 cents. Now we got them all installated. Pro tip here, because I cut the little pips off here, the retention pips with the flush cutting side cutters, um, it doesn't want to stay in there. But what you can do is you get in there and you melt the thermoset plastic over again. What for chromulating the connection better? Pro tip, just the tip mind. Oh, I hear the pitter patter of little feet. Chickadee? Qu'est-ce qui se passe, ma jolie? Hello. Black woo! Black woo, les stars. <laughs> okay, back off, was he? Ah, she just came in to get some glue to glue some stars, apparently. Uh, I better go. Uh huh. There we go. Okay. Okay, check this out. Oh yeah. There's more. Now what we got.
got to do is get the puller into here. Now these are 1.5 volt cells and they're in series. That means one and a half, three, four and a half. This runs on, as I said, three to five volts. Perfect. So we take the VCC pin here, which is power in, and the GND, ground, which is power out. Oh, I'm not even going to say it. Oh, I just had to go with the scrap bin here of useless stuff that I just can't bring myself to throw out. What do you know? We got a pin connector that'll fit perfectly on that. It's got the perfect pitch. I'll just cut it off. Ooh, focus. Okay, we got the anemic little pixie path wired in here. Dance, you pixies dance. There's just something deeply satisfying and distinctly enthralling about your own voice in an electronic doodad. Okay, now we got it powered in, but we want this switch to be actuated actually by this switch. So if we just check with the multimeter here, we see that the, this bottom pin on the tactile switch has 4.5 4 volts on it all the time. And this top pin only has 4.5 volts on it when we actuate it. So it's that top pin that we want to tie in with this other tactile switch. So when this other tactile switch is energized, it bypasses this guy and gives the signal to, oh, all we got to do now, it's a small matter of pulling a wire. We just strip it back here. We'll tie this into the side, same side that goes on. Actually, we could tie it in anywhere on this rail, but we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it here. And then uh, chooch it right to there and should work. Bob's your auntie. Okay, let's give her a try. You can't fix it. Fuck it. <laughs> Now this alt button is kind of lame, so I found out we can just scratch this off. The awesome thing about electronics, it's a clean hand job. Now that we've rubbed off the dirty bits, we can go ahead and put our own massage in there. Now I like using this double-sided tape because it's easy. It reduces the rattle trap effect. Okay, now all we gotta do is Put it back together and record the message. Contact. What we have here is an ID10T error. You're going to want to go ahead and plug the G's list thing in. I'm dedicating this video to the poor bastards that wrangle ones and zeros for a living. You know, for the rest of us, off by one is no big deal. Thanks a lot for watching. Creep your slick in the rice.